Hey YouTube, it's Demo Trainer here. Last episode we, we, we beat Glacier, and today we're going to be fighting the last Elite Four member. So, yeah. I'm going to be uh, starting off with... Who's, I'm going to start off with Dan. I've got... Um, this is... I don't like this trainer because he's kind of a rip-off of another Elite Four member. But, uh, yes, this is Drake. He specializes in... In... Uh, in Dragon types. It's not Drizzy Drake, sadly, which makes me really depressed and stuff, but it's Drake. He's he's different. So it's gonna start off with a shell gone. It's a dragon type. It knows it's level 52. It knows Rock Tomb, Dragon Claw, Double Edge, and Protect. I set off with my physical wall down. Double edge. I know I know I could have not used it, but uh get in there with double edge. It can do some good damage, especially with Dan's physical. It's really good, so. Rock Tomb. Not gonna happen, man. Not gonna happen. Double Edge should end it. Yep, cool. Nice one. That's one Pokemon down. One more shot as another. Drizzy Drake. He's gonna send in Kingdra. I'm gonna switch out for Kingdra. So. I don't know if Kingdra can get affected by um, Earthquake, but I'm gonna try it. Kingdra is a Water Dragon type, it's level 53. You know, smoke screen, dragon dance, surf, and body slam. This Pokemon's gonna try to try and sweep you if you don't handle it pretty quickly. So earthquake straight up on the Kingdra. Let's see how we do. Nice one. Uh, Dragon's dance increases speed and its attack. He should go and heal it up now, which means I can get another free EQ off. And yeah, I had to use an, an elixir between episodes as well to actually heal Jordan's HP uh, PP all the way back up. So yeah, he's got all his PP. Well, he's got most of his PP back. And he's more powerful moves, minus water gun, but yeah. Earthquake should hopefully get critical. Oh, minimum. I'm gonna do a water. I hope the water gun. I hope it hasn't got like water absorb or something. Oh, it hasn't, cool. And that should take out Kingdra. Nice one. I mean, she get quite a bit of experience being Kingdra. Kingdra is just a XP farm. Also, and Jaw is level 71. Nice one. Nice one, Jordan. I'm proud of you. His next Pokemon is gonna be Altaria. I'm gonna go back into Dan. Altaria is a dragon flying type, it's level 54, you know, it's double edge, dragon breath, aerial ace, and dragon dance. So. I'm going to lead off with a dig. It might use dragon dance, increase its attack power and flying power, but Dan is a physical wall, so. Yeah. It should attack first, if it's got high speed, maybe. I hope so. Yep, it's got two dragon dances, but that just means it's got plus two attack. It's not too bad, but, uh. It'll, it'll, it'll help it. And of course, it doesn't affect it. God damn it. My own fault there. Let's try. Oh my god, three. Jesus. I need to handle this Pokemon as quick as I can. Because he's not going to sweep me. Iron Tail, come on, get critical. Please take it out. Oh, I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. A defense fell. I'm happy with that. You, you, I think I should live a Dragon Breath at least. Come on. Yes. And that was with two attacks up, so. And that should end Altaria. Cool, cool. You just wasted your time. I made a, I made a silly mistake though, so it's kind of my own fault. The next Pokemon he's gonna send in is Flygon. Who should I send in next? Hmm, I'll send in Grayson. Yeah, Grayson hasn't had any screen time this episode yet. So Flygon is a Dragon Ground type. It's level 53. It knows Dragon Breath, Flame Thrower, Crunch, and Earthquake. I actually do love uh, Flygon. It's one of my favorite Dragon type Pokemon's. Just how cool he looks with the glasses and stuff. Dragon Breath shouldn't do too much. No matter looking when it paralyzed though. I didn't. Cool. Yeah. It's, it's, it's definitely going to heal up. But strangely, I'm okay with that. So. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give him a chance. Let, let him heal up. See if he can make a difference. He hasn't, got, he hasn't had his age yet. Which is interesting. But yeah. Okay, Dragon Breath again. I'm fine with it. You just keep it coming. Keep it coming, man. And Flygon is down. He's going down. I'm yelling, Timber, you better move. So he's going to send in his last Pokemon, and by far his powerfulest Pokemon, Salamence. It's a Dragon Flying type. It's level 55. It knows Dragon Claw, Flamethrower, Crunch, and Rock Slide. So, fair warning. This, can, this Pokemon can, can, like, have a big punch. I really don't like Salamence's sprite in this game. And I really don't think Salamence is that good of a Pokemon in this game, but compared to 
some of her dragon types is one of the best I think so and that flamethrower did some crazy damage and of course it got burnt so that means I'm going to do half damage but we have a forest star which I will be using on Dan oh damn it oh damn it but where's my forest star I think I've only got one or two forest stars I've got one okay that's fine by me getting there Dan I'm happy with it I'm happy Flamethrower, it shouldn't do, it. no matter how I'm going to get burnt again. That always seems to happen to me. It didn't, cool. So, let's lead off with an Iron Tail and see what that does. Oh, stop using Flamethrower, man. Like, uh, I think Dan's going to have the best chance it will. That or um, Swampert will have the best chance. Iron Tail doing some work, I like it. Citrus Berry for him doing work as well. God damn it. The thing about Salamence is he's faster than Dan. That can't be helped though, just because of Dan's stats and stuff. Really. Bernie's not that rare. And of course, he's going to survive just because of the half damage I do from... Yeah, I'm going to let Dan die, by the way. I I've got to let Dan die because I can't use another healing item. I've got like a, a revival route if I really need to use one. But yeah, I tried. I tried. Uh, if that burn wasn't in and I got a critical, I probably would have won. So... Easily, well, I would have won. I'm gonna send in Jordan and lead off with a, a muddy water. Let's see if muddy water does anything. It doesn't work. My whip, it just attack mist. Dragon claw. 50 damage. Muddy water. Why am Are you guys. What? I'm just having bad luck in this fight right now. The worst luck ever. There we go. Muddy water. Hopefully, I can, I can get critical and take it out. God damn it, he's gonna heal now. Ah, At least he missed. Leave left in the mud shot and see what happens. It doesn't affect Salmons, does it? Oh my god, why isn't he healing? Really? He's not healing? I'm shocked about that. But uh, yes. We beat Drake. Drizzy Drake. That does in fact mean that we have completed the Elite Four. Hell yeah. So, uh,. But the thing is, um, we are not the champion, and there's one fight left, and we'll be doing that on the next episode. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. I shall see you guys tomorrow for the final episode. I shall see you guys then.